My joy of discovery is always learning new things uh, about swimming. I just recently met an Olympic swimmer named Misty Hyman who came into town to and teach a clinic. great with the kids. She uh, talked a lot with the swimmers and uh, she uh, helped a lot on the butterfly, which really inspired me to work more on mine. the years, uh, I've met with uh, many other Olympic swimmers, but with Misty, I had a lot in common. When did you uh, first uh, discover that you enjoyed swimming? Okay. Well, I started swimming when I was five years old because I was diagnosed with asthma, and the doctor said it was the best sport for my asthma, and um, it made me healthier and stronger, and as I became healthier and I realized that I really loved swimming and that I had a gift for it. And uh, I did a lot of other sports, like the gymnastics and dance, and I played an instrument. And uh, at age 13, when I was running out of hours in the day, I knew that when it came time to choose one, I would choose swimming, and I did. That's cool. And uh, also, <laughs> what did you figure out that you would be a butterfly? Well, butterfly came naturally to me from a very young age, and I always loved doing it. But uh, I think I specialized, I think it was age 10 when I broke the Arizona state record in the 50-yard butterfly when I realized that butterfly was really my stroke. And uh, what coaches did you train with while you were in the Olympics? Sure. Well, my club coach, Bob Gillett in Arizona, um, oh, yeah. still a big part of my life and was a big part of making me the swimmer that I am. And then I went to Stanford uh, for college on scholarship and swam for Richard Quick, who also was my Olympic coach. Thanks. Hey, okay, you're welcome. Good luck. Keep up the good work. After I talked to Misty, I went to go talk to my coach. I've been coaching Haven for six years, and uh, when he first started, he was actually taking some private swim lessons, and I watched him um, and the instructor that he had, and I noticed that he was a little bit different. He was able to swim his strokes really well, and um, as a coach, I couldn't wait to get my hands on him to try to help develop, this, develop him as a swimmer. Um, we were able to... Um, then have him move up to our pre-competitive team that I also coached and um, when he was done and actually joined our swim team, he was actually the youngest swimmer that I had ever coached on my competition swim team. Um, and he's, he's been really good, he's gotten really fast and uh, we've made quite a few goals and he's achieved quite a few of them. Um, we are hoping that uh, within the next year that he can break out and, and actually go a lot faster and move to a high, higher level of swimming. I'm always discovering new things that can help me improve my swimming, whether it's at swim practice, at swim meets, or even at special opportunities uh, like this. Maybe one day these uh, will be Olympic medals.